This is Slade McLennan with Sunbelt Fire. We are really excited to share with you the newest purchase from the Oxford Fire Department in Mississippi. We would like to thank them for their continued faith and trust in Sunbelt Fire and E1 over the years with their fire equipment. They have done a phenomenal job in laying out the design of their new E1 Custom Rescue Emax Pumper. Folks, this is a dynamite truck. I think you're going to like a lot of the new features and innovations that they've incorporated into this particular design. This is built on an E1 custom cab with the roll cage protection for the firefighter safety. It has an ISL 450 Cummins engine and it has the EVS 3000 transmission. All of the lighting on the upper level lighting and the lower level lighting are LED lighting with the Wayland um, light package for upper level and lower level. All of their compartmentation lighting also has the LED lighting. Even on the opening of the doors, up underneath the cab, it will have LED lighting. So, I want to walk you through another few, few neat features here. They have, have put on, in the remembrance of 9-11, on both sides, for the officer and the driver's side, the, this incredible mural for, for remembering our firefighters and the victims of 9-11. They also have scene lighting on both sides, and then they have the safety vision cameras. This has become a great safety you know, feature that they have the camera on the inside, and they have these cameras on both the, the driver and the officer and off the rear of the truck. So if they're backing up or moving around, have an enormous amount of visibility to be able to see the scene in the grounds there. So just a really neat feature there. I will show you some other features on the inside of the cab as we go to the other side. Now, what makes this truck so unique is that it is built with the new innovation of the Emax pumper by E1. They have allowed for a much tighter wheelbase, way better for maneuverability and to be able to get around in tight spots. They also have an enormous amount of capacity for the storage for the firefighters. They, they carry 780 gallons of water and then they also have an enormous amount of hose load storage. So I'm gonna walk you through a few features here. This shows you their backboard storage up above and then they they have a speed leg um, here that can be pulled out and then they actually have a speed leg and a two and a half speed leg so the neat feature here is they can literally come in and pull out for if or if they're loading hose or moving stuff around very very neat feature that's on both sides and up above this is showing you how tight the compartmentation is for their pump housing done an enormous job here to make this more ergonomic and more friendly for the firefighters. So you can see the discharges, their intake, that this has the TFT um, connection here. And really, really neat feature on the other side. I'll show you more of that in a second. This is actually showing the pump panel. So again, eye level, very easy for the firefighter to see it. They can tie into their fire comm system. And then it's actually showing you a remote control to open and close for the ball intake valve on the officer side showing you the Akron closing of the valves for the tank fill and the deck gun, and then just showing you all of the bleeder valves. The compartmentation here has an adjustable tray. So they can go up and down, showing you their line voltage area, and then it also has a smart power 10KW generator. They have a lot of electrical outlets and scene lighting, I mean, excuse me, some quartz lighting on the apparatus. So, so you can see, you know, again, they have a lot of room to, to add more equipment on the inside. Now as you look over the wheel well, really neat feature here, you're starting to see more of these options come in. So they can put equipment here, they have two ladders, and then have another tool here, and they can put more equipment in the rear of it. So this is a huge area for them to be able to put more equipment. Showing you that they have storage for many air bottles around the actual um, truck here. Same on this side, another air bottle and then their fuel system. And then on the rear compartment, huge storage here. So this is a pull out tray and then another tray here that they can actually put more equipment on the inside. This compartment has three hundred, um, excuse me, three 12 volt um, adapters so they can put certain types of equipment on the inside. Now as you look at the rear of this apparatus, a lot of features showing you the safety vision camera showing you their, their hose load capacity up here. A lot of hose load from 
two, you know, two inch hose, two and a half, five inch hose, enormous amount of hose, extended 750 quartz lights on both sides, and then showing you another really neat compartment for them. So they have a 200 foot cord reel that they can deploy out, showing you their, their safety box or their electrical box to tie in, as well as showing you some extension lights. Have the rewind switch here to be able to pull it back in. Now, as you look at the officer side here, it's showing you their attic storage. So they have a roof ladder, a 14 foot, a 24 foot and pipe pole storage. So all of their ladders are encased on the inside. Now, as you come to the actual officer side, it's showing you another side of this. Now they have all of their equipment is TFT onto this truck. So this is actually showing you a ground monitor and it's actually an oscillating blitz fire monitor. This is gonna be a great feature for the fire department. That's being shipped separately there. A pull-out tray, an adjustable shelf, the same here, an adjustable shelf here, more compartmentation for their SCBAs, showing you another huge compartment here where they can go up and down, the cab release button, and then showing you access into the pump panel. So as you look at the, the officer side, same type of layout here. Now that's what I was talking about earlier was the electric controls for the TFT and then just showing their connections here for their three inch. Now as you look inside the cab, they have the severe duty paneling here for the doors on, on, on all of the doors here, showing you their lock system, all their SCBA compartmentation for the drivers, showing you how everything is hardwired from their stream lights to their thermal imager, their MSA thermal imager, even to where their mounts are for their helmets. Really ergonomic designed in here for the firefighters and they have come to really appreciate how quiet it is and how spacious. Now on the officer side, showing you the same type of just more leg room compartmentation here. And then it has a spotlight up above and really neat design, you know, for, for the officer and for the driver. They have an extended front bumper and it's just showing that they have a jump line as well as the, the, the world famous Q2B siren here onto the actual bumper. We would like to thank again the Oxford Fire Department for putting their faith and trust in us. And if, if you would like more information about this new bumper or any of the trucks that we offer and, and can take care of for you, please feel free to contact us at Sunbelt Fire. You can also check us out on Facebook and Twitter at Sunbelt Fire. Thank you for what you do and stay safe.